Hey guys, this is Jonathan Lampell, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to render smoke and cycles with the latest test build. So this isn't in the official Blender 2.7. You're going to have to go to builder.blender.org to download the latest build. So I have a couple example pictures for you here. This one is just kind of, of a meteor going through the atmosphere. You can see it has really thick smoke in the back, and that's something that was impossible to do before. So that's something that's now very cool. And uh, secondly, you can also see that fire works well with it as well. Uh, I didn't have anything underneath. I should have put it under there, but something that you can do in cycles that you couldn't in Blender internal is have fire cast light onto objects. So um, without further ado, you can just go to builder.blender.org and download any of these builds for whichever operating system you use and open up Blender and then we can get started. So just opening up a new scene, you can see we have the default cube here and all I'm going to do is delete the default cube, add a UV sphere, set it to smooth, press space, type in quick, and choose quick smoke. So this is not necessarily a smoke sim tutorial, this is just showing you the preview, so I'm not going to be going into any sort of uh, in-depth thing here. So you can see that we have smoke. Now I want to show you fire as well, so I'm just going to select the emitter go to the physics panel and under flow type choose fire and smoke now as I play this back in the viewport you can see that we indeed have fire and we have smoke so I want this to be a little bit higher um, resolution so we can see exactly what's going on so I'm going to scale up the domain times two so we have more room to work with and also set this to 96 so that now when we play this back Oops, I forgot to uh, enable Smoke Adaptive Domain. That'll make it everything go faster. There we go. Now we can see what's actually going on. So now I'm going to jump over to the Materials layout here, or you can just open up the Node Editor, either way. And we can start looking how to render this in Cycles. So now you can see all there is is a box. Um, under the world options I'm going to change the background to black so I can see everything better and now I can go back to the material settings and click use nodes because the uh, quick smoke automatically generated a blender internal material which we don't need so I can uh, get rid of that by pressing use nodes so we now use this with cycles instead um, right so you can see it's just the box with the diffuse but we don't want any surface we want a volume so I'm going to delete that Shift A, add a volume scatter, and plug that into the volume there. So you can see that it's doing exactly that. It's scattering it um, quite well. And then now I'm going to add an, a volume absorption and a add shader. Then I'm going to add the volume and the, the absorption and the scatter together. So now we have a, a volume that we can control quite well. And it doesn't look like much now, especially since there is no um, mapping of the smoke, but that's really easy to do. All you have to do is go to Input, Attribute, and then in the attribute just type in Density. Alright, so we can plug that factor into the scattering in the density, and already we have our smoke. So that's looking pretty cool. However, there's a lot more things that we can do. First of all, we want fire, so I'm going to add an emission shader to it. So just duplicate that over with Shift D, add shader and emission, plug that in, and now instead of using the density, I'm going to duplicate that down and I'm going to type in flame. Plug the factor into the strength, and now we have fire exactly where we have fire in the viewport. So uh, one thing that we don't have, however, is a good color, colors for it. Right now it's just all white, and we don't want to make it all red or all blue or whatever. We want it to have varying degrees of color. So to do that, I'm going to add a converter, color ramp, plug the color into there, and use this factor, plug it into the factor there. So now, uh, we can start adding in the colors of a flame that it would be along the 
it's it's kind of beginning and at the end. So at the beginning it would be about white. Then I'm going to add another kind of color there, make it a beige, beigeish yellow. Then it'll get into more of an orange. And finally a red. So now we have a nice looking flame. Uh, one thing that I like to do is set the um, the alpha to a little bit lower at the beginning, 0 0.25. 0 0.5. And 0.75. And something about that just helps it make it look more realistic, I found. So that is what I do. Now, we could go ahead and make this a group node right now, as is, because it does work. However, we want to be able to control how thick the smoke is, and we also want to control how thick the fire is, and a little bit of how it looks. So to add this extra flexibility uh, to the smoke, um, I'm going to control and draw down with my left mouse button. Oh, that's cut. I'm sorry. Well, while it's gone anyway, I meant to press shift, but that's all right. Uh, I can press shift A, color, and brightness contrast. Plug the factor into there. Oops, not the color. All right, there we go. So the brightness I don't really want to touch, but the contrast, if I up this to say five, you can say that I now get a really thick smoke. And this is kind of like the scale. Um, and that's what I'm going to call it in the group node, is the scale. So you can set the how big the smoke looks. However, you also might want to change how uh, how how dense it is. So there's a, a slight difference between the two, and I'll, I'll show you. So this time I'm going to shift and drag down with my left mouse button to kind of join those two together, add a color, and a... Actually, no, I'm sorry. A converter and math. This I will set to multiply and I can multiply it by 1. However if I multiply it by say 0.1 you can see I get a lot less dense smoke and if I multiply this by something like 25 I get a really dense smoke. So this is going to be the control over how dense it is and this is going to control the scale. So you can say I can have really cartoony look or you know you can do a lot of cool things that you couldn't do before uh, very easily with this setup so I'm just gonna set that back to zero and that back to one and now I want to do a few things with the flame uh, I'm going to duplicate the same uh, setup for the uh, density and scale plug in the factor there and make that the strength so just the same as we did with the um, with the smoke density I'm going to do it th to the fire and now we have these colors but I also want to be able to edit them outside of the group node so to do that I'm going to add a color and gamma so that we can change the kind of kind of the, well, I guess gamma, obviously. I was going to say saturation, but that's not quite right. So you can say either set that to 0.25 to get a very light fire, or to get a very kind of thick, muddled fire, you can set that higher than 1. And that gives you a pretty good amount of flexibility. Also, I'm going to add in a color hue saturation. So you can also change the hue if you want to make it a little bit green or whatever for some stylized effects and now this is ready to make a group node uh, to do that I'm just going to select all of these by hitting B and dragging the box pressing control G and you can see we go inside this kind of new editor here it's like a new layer and I can tab out of it and I can also tab back in so when I'm outside of it I'm going to rename this smoke shader 
and I'm going to press shift space inside this window so I can more easily see what's going on. I'm going to tab in to the node edit mode and press N so I can see its properties. So you have this input right here and you can drag this into things that we want to control from the outside. So I'm going to drag this into the contrast, this empty one into the multiply value, volume scatter, and the absorption color. So you can rename these here so it's really convenient to look at when you're editing later. Uh, I'm going to name this bottom one by control clicking on it and I'm going to call that absorption. The second one I'm going to call scattering. This value I'm going to call density. It would help if I could spell it right. Alright, and this one I'm going to call that scale. Actually, I'm going to call this uh, smoke, since we have a separate one for the fire and the smoke. Alright. And I'm going to move these to the top. Just so it's easier to look at. And finally, I'm going to plug this into the brightness contrast down there. I can open this up a little bit. And I'm going to call this one fire scale. Plug that one into the multiply value. Call that fire density. Plug another one into the gamma. And lastly, one more, oops, uh, one more into the hue. Fire hue. Alright, so now when we go out of edit mode, for that node we have this nice little setup right here. That if we shift space we can go back to the rendered view. And you can change all of these really handy settings right here. So, you can make it very thick. Call it scale, and you can see that if you uh, change one value, you're, you're probably going to have to change another one. So, for instance, if you make the smoke really thick, you're going to want to uh, up the fire scale or this uh, density as well to kind of offset. But you can do a lot of very cool things here, and it's it's fun to play around with. Keep in mind that this is just the kind of first implementation of it. Uh, there is plans to be an actual um, shader for fire and smoke just by itself, um, or at least an easier input. Right now this is just kind of the, the hacked uh, way it's in there. Um, so you won't have to keep making this group node forever, but it's just something that you can do right now if you want to play around with it. Uh, if you want to keep this around later, you can hit this F button um, I think I think it says yeah save this data block even if it has no users so even if you you know delete it whatever go on in your scene and you think oh I want to make some fire you can just go to shift a add group smoke shader and there you go all of your settings are right there so that is how you make fire and smoke inside of cycles make sure you have a recent build and I hope you make something fun alright see you later